today I thought I would film a quick video telling you guys about my New York City trip. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and stuff, I've been posting like crazy this past week. I was in New York City from Monday to Friday, so it's like the 9th to the 13th or something like that. And I had one of the best times of my life, so I just wanted to come on here and kind of explain why I was there. A lot of you guys have questions about what I was doing and stuff, so I thought I would just go over everything that I did and it would be kind of fun to kind of like as a talking vlog. I tried to vlog some while I was there but vlogging is something that I'm not used to. You guys know I don't normally vlog so I kept forgetting, didn't really know what to vlog and I'm not the best at it. Like I took a lot of short clips just of what I was doing but I didn't actually like turn the camera around and actually talk about what I was doing. I'm just not used to it. Um, I'm not someone who vlogs all the time just because I feel like my life's pretty boring so I don't want to bore you guys with it every day. But I did take some footage so I'm just going to be entering that over top kind of as I'm talking about this because most of it is just like silent clips showing you what I'm doing anyways. So just a couple weeks ago I was approached by Style Coalition which is kind of like an agency where they connect influencers or bloggers and video bloggers with brands too. So anyone, as long as you're a blogger or a blogger, can sign up for a profile on their website and you can put in like your stats and all that kind of stuff and brands can connect and find you on there. There's lots of websites like this. I've talked about these types of websites in my video I think on how to get sponsorships or something like that. But um, so they approached me. I didn't even know about the website. I didn't have a profile yet. And they asked me if I was available during a certain time. Um, for a trip to work with a hair brand and I didn't even know the brand yet I was super excited though because I think they mentioned coming to New York City and stuff um, so then I signed up for their site and I just realized how cool of a site it was and how great of an opportunity this would be for some other people so I wanted to tell you guys about the site to see if you guys wanted to sign up if you guys make videos as well so once I found out the brand and stuff and they said they were definitely going to pursue using me for the video I was super excited I've only done one other shoot and that was with the Veda where I went up there last May and did a um, video with them and stuff. So for the Aveda one, that video went up on their channel and it was just one video, but this one, the videos are going up on my channel. So I don't know if I said it already, but the brand is actually Garnier or L'Oreal. L'Oreal owns Garnier and Maybelline. They even own like Urban Decay and just all these brands. Their list of brands is just incredible and I had no idea that they owned all those brands, like even Essie and stuff. So. It was really cool to be able to work with such like a well-known company and I really like Garnier. I don't use a lot of their products right now but I used to use them like when I was younger and stuff and they've changed so many of their products. They have such a wide range of products now so I'm really excited to kind of um, get to know the brand again and try to use some of their products again and that sort of stuff and bring you guys my opinions on them because I don't use a lot of drugstore hair products so I'm really excited to be able to give you guys some opinions and give you some product recommendations for cheaper drugstore products compared to what I usually use so I'm really excited about that. So for my New York City trip I arrived on Monday. I was traveling with my aunt. She decided to come up with me and I also met up with my sister there so that was really fun. Um, we stayed in the Empire Hotel which was in like the upper west side area of Manhattan and it was just such a nice hotel like I'm definitely staying in that little vicinity again next time I go up there. The last time I went I was in Chelsea and the time before I stayed in Soho so this was definitely one of my favorite areas. So the first thing I did on Monday was actually went to a YouTube event at the YouTube Space New York which I've never done before. I've always wanted to go to one of those. I hear about them all the time. So if you make videos, you can check out their different locations that they have. Yeah, and they have them all over the world so they're really great because you can go to different workshops and stuff and learn about how to grow your channel. So the workshop that I signed up for was actually on analytics so it taught you about your demographics and all that kind of stuff on your channel so that was super helpful. I actually met up with Diva Makeup Queen here on YouTube. I met up with her last time I was in New York City and then this time again and she's super helpful. She lives in the city so she always like helps me with where to go and stuff and it was super fun hanging out with her and going to that and just like meeting different people there. The YouTube workshop was so much fun. Like if you guys ever get a chance to go, definitely sign up. It's free to go. All you have to do is have a YouTube channel and you learn so much. It was like a two or three hour long class and there was like, I don't know, 50 to 80 people there. It was crazy. I was shocked at how packed it was. And yeah, so I met a lot of people there, handed out business cards, that kind of thing. It was just really fun to network and learn a lot of stuff. I have like multiple pages of notes from that. It was just awesome. I wish I took some footage there um, to show you guys, but just really neat like having an actual location for YouTube because it's just online so you feel like there's not like a hub. So it was cool like having, like getting to meet some of the staff and just like having all these people from YouTube just like a community actually in person so that was really cool. So Tuesday I had a working day with Garnier and first thing at the hotel we met up and we had 
the campaign brief. So that's where they went over everything about why they're doing the campaign, why they brought all of us girls together. There was eight different girls that I got to meet, which is just incredible. Like, I was just so shocked when I saw some of the people I was going to be working with. I'll have all their channels listed down below. But So one of the girls, Melissa, which was actually the first girl that I met there, and she was super sweet and nice. She also has a YouTube channel, and she was like just the nicest person. So I'm so glad to be connecting with her and stuff. And then also, um, who else was there? And then Heart from That's Heart was actually there too. She was just amazing. It was just so nice to meet her, and she was super friendly. And then Amanda Ensing was there as well, and Lindsay, or Beauty Baby 44 was there so it was just so nice to meet some of them but I think there were seven or eight of us total which was just so cool so we had um, a campaign brief so we just went over everything we were going to be doing and everything and any questions that sort of stuff with Style Coalition and the brand and then we had like a short presentation from Google which was really cool because they talked about like how to enhance the views on the videos we're going to be posting and stuff then we went from the meeting to the L'Oreal headquarters and this is probably one of the most fun things that I've ever done just seeing the L'Oreal headquarters, it was just so cool. We got to go to their technical center, which is where they test out the products and stuff. And so they tried out some of the curly products on me. They also helped me practice the hairstyles I was going to be doing and showed us around, that sort of stuff. And then we got to go to their headquarters store, which is where they have all of their brands on sale for like half off and we got to shop around which was really cool. So then I actually did film a clip of me actually like talking to you guys about what I was doing after I got back to the hotel after the headquarters and so I'll insert that here. Hey guys, so I just got back to the hotel. I've had a full day of testing out the Garnier products and going to the L'Oreal headquarters. It was just amazing. I'm just so excited and I loved meeting so many different YouTubers. I did get to go to the L'Oreal's headquarters store where they have all their products of all their brands. L'Oreal actually owns so many different brands, which is crazy. Everything in their headquarters store is 50% off, so I did some shopping. So I was just going to show you guys what I got, and then I was also going to show you what came in my goodie bag that they gave me at the L'Oreal headquarters. So at the store, I just picked up an Essie nail polish. This one is in Going Incognito, and then this is a Urban Decay lip color, and this is the Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color, and I got mine in the shade love child so i'm really excited to try that i don't have any urban decay lip products so this is the gift bag that they gave me i'm not sure how good the lighting is hopefully you guys can see but let's go ahead and see what's inside so first i see a little card with my name on it i'll be sure to read that i just see the garnier bb cream i'm obsessed with this bb cream then i see the garnier smoothing remover cleansing towelette more essie nail polish this one's in the shade turquoise and caicos so that's a really pretty mint color essie's actually one of their brands too which is really cool then this is i think i have this one this is the essie lux effects and rock at the top actually i don't have that shade but i do have a very similar one a couple mascaras there is the maybelline the rocket mascara there's another maybelline one this looks like the brow drama i've really been excited to try this out so then there's two other Essie nail polishes. It looks like this one's in Meet Me at Sunset. I actually have that one. I really like it. And then this one is in All Eyes on Nudes. It's a nude color. Then there's two Maybelline Color Molten Eyeshadows. I've been seeing these lately at the drugstore, so it's really nice to try them out. These, This one's in the shade Rose Haze. And then this one is Plum Fusion. It's got some purple colors. Then there's the Maybelline Master Highlight Face Studio product then the Master Prime Face Primer. I haven't tried that out, but I've heard good things about that too. And then I have the Maybelline Kajal. This looks like an eyeliner. Yeah, a black eyeliner. And then the Baby Lips. This one is in the shade Peach Kiss. And then just the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Shimmering Sea. It's a really pretty like light blue shimmering color. So yeah, that's all that came in my goodie bag. So then after that, I went to the dinner around 6th. And the dinner was with Style Coalition, Garnier, and then all the other girls too. So that was super fun. It was like a dinner party. It was just fun, like getting to know some of the other girls and stuff. And I got some pictures with them and everything. So that was super fun. If you guys want to see the pictures, then definitely check out my Instagram. I posted so many pictures and stuff while I was there. But that was all I did on Tuesday. Oh, I also met back up with Wendy, our diva makeup queen too. And we got to hang out and stuff and spend some time together. So that was super fun. And then on Wednesday, I had a free day. So I just did like some touristy things with my aunt and everything. So we went to Top of the Rock. So we got to see like New York City um, from the very top of the building from the Rockefeller Center. And then... I saw some of Central Park because I had never seen that before either. And then I went to a Broadway show and saw The Lion King, so that was really fun. So I feel like now that I've been to New York City three times, I've kind of gotten all the tourist things down. So now next time I go, I definitely want to do some different things and stuff while I'm there. 
And then on Thursday is the day I actually had the shoot. So I had to get up super early. I think I had to be there at like 7 a.m. Um, so when I first got there, I got right into hair and makeup. So that was really fun to have my makeup done and stuff by the artist. And then we went over the hairstyle again and then wardrobe, which was cool. So they like styled my outfits and stuff for the shoot kind of with the theme of each hairstyle. And then I had a little photo shoot, which was definitely an experience for me. I'm not someone that is used to like posing and doing all that kind of stuff. It's kind of awkward, but then once I got used to it, it was a lot easier because when I pose for myself, I just like smile or I show off my makeup and stuff. But like posing for hair is just so much different. So that was definitely an experience. Um, but once I got used to it, it was cool and it was really fun. Then I filmed the first tutorial. So we had to do so many takes, which I remember this from my last shoot where it just takes so long to do a short video. These videos are only going to be 60 seconds. So it was just crazy like how long it took to just do a 60 second video because you have to keep repeating each step as you do it. So it sounds perfect. And then they edit it together and it looks amazing. But the process is very long. <laughs> That facility, okay? Because it's like it has to come down. All right, here, one, two, and three. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. All that we like we should have should roll. We should have rolled. All right, here we go. Let's go, guys. No, Quiet, please. Two and three. <laughs> Smelling when you catch them. When you catch them after you finish laughing, give them a smell and laugh again, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, I almost. Oh. <laughs> go again. Back to it again. All right. And I'm gonna try to throw it to where you don't have to move your feet, okay? okay. So move forward. When you come forward, you get out of focus, okay? Action. Black. 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 Time. And then I had the other hair look, which I'm so excited for you guys to see the two hair tutorials. They're very simple and easy and something everyone can do in 60 seconds, so that's really cool. But Hey everyone, it's Gina. So curly hair girls can do fishtail braids too. I'm going to show you how you can go from mane to mermaid in 60 seconds with this chunky fishtail braid. Big smile. Good. That was a good one. Okay, and action! Hey everyone, it's Gina. So curly haired girls can do fishtail braids too. I'm going to show you how you can go from free to fishtail with this chunky... Um... Let's try one more time. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Gina. So curly haired girls can do fishtail braids too. I'm going to show you how you can go from free to fishtail in 60 seconds with this chunky fishtail braid. That was good. Um, yeah, it definitely took a long time. We didn't finish up until like six o'clock, but everyone was so nice. Um, I just love being on set like that with all the, like meeting all the different people and it's just so busy and chaotic, but I love it at the same time. So that was really fun. Everyone was just so welcoming and made me feel so comfortable too. The director was amazing. The company that they used to shoot the videos was Persona Films and I'll put their Instagram down below or their website, but just the whole crew was so nice and really um, made me feel comfortable. And she, the director was awesome. She helped me with like every little thing I was supposed to say and just making it sound perfect. So I feel like I definitely got good experience as far as like speaking for my videos and just being like talking slower. I had to try to learn to talk slower because you guys know me, I talk super fast like I am right now. Um, so that was basically it, I think. And then Friday I left and went back home, which was super sad. I did not want to leave it all. Oh, I also ran into Kier Malore. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but I was at breakfast with my sister one morning. I think it was Wednesday morning. And I recognized her. I was like, I'm pretty sure that is her. So I like checked on her Instagram and she was wearing the same thing and she was saying she was in New York City. But she was on the show House of DVF on E. I don't know if you guys saw that one. Um, and then she also has a blog and stuff. And when I saw her on the show, she was like mentioning how she had a blog and a YouTube. So I actually like went and checked it out. I think I had tweeted her before saying I liked her blog and everything and then um, I actually saw her there which was just crazy. She was super nice. I got a picture with her and stuff so I'll insert that here but you guys should definitely check out her YouTube channel and her blog as well. She does a lot of fashion and then she does beauty and stuff on her YouTube channel so that was really cool to run into her. I think she was there for New York Fashion Week or something. I really regret that I didn't get to go to any fashion shows or anything while I was there because it was actually Fashion Week and stuff but I just didn't have any time. The only free day I had was Wednesday and I don't think there was anything actually going on on Wednesday that I could have went to. So 
next time that's something that I definitely want to do is go see a fashion show. So I think that that is everything. If you guys want to check me out on my social media pages, I do have a giveaway going on right now where you can win a NYX palette for Valentine's Day. I'm about to go on a date actually right now for Valentine's Day with my boyfriend. We're just going out to eat. So that's why my makeup is so dramatic and stuff. But I did do a makeup look for Valentine's Day. Definitely more of like a natural one. I will link it for you guys down below with the giveaway as well. And then I also have the Pacifica Beauty giveaway going on right now on my channel too. So that one's going to also be linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I'm also going to be doing my Q&A video very soon on the YouTube series. So if you have any other questions that pertain to like how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow your channel, all that kind of stuff, definitely leave them down below because I'll be coming back to all these videos where I mention that and gathering the questions for the Q&A video. So I just really wanted to give you guys a huge thank you and just say how much I appreciate you guys because without you all watching my channel and helping grow my channel and everything, I wouldn't have even gotten this opportunity or any of the other opportunities. So I just wanted to give you all a huge thank you that I'm so grateful to be able to do this. I'm just like beside myself. I can't even believe I got to go. It doesn't even feel like real life and I'm just super thankful for all of you guys and I just love every single one of you. So thank you all so much for watching and for supporting my channel. It really means the world to me. And I will talk to you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, everyone. So now for the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a NYX Waiting for Tonight palette. I saw this palette on Hot Look, and I thought it would be perfect for you guys because it has such a variety of different products.